What's, What's happening, happening fandoms? fandoms? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we react to music videos and shows. Today we're going back to Morissette Amon. Oh yeah. We're going to get a live performance. I think a club style performance with Morissette featuring Kiko Salazar and Day One. I think and, that's a band. And this is our one of our favorite songs. That Absolutely. This is one of the songs that really drove in our love for Morissette. Yeah. This song is so stunningly good and I can't wait to see it again. Yes. Here we go. Yep. Here's a song that is very, very close to all our hearts, including God and everyone. Yes. Is this to for us you guys? Too. Ooh. goodness this seems like a very small intimate space yeah that we're in here um i'm loving this this very live cool. version you yeah. know we saw her sing this song on the wish bus mm -hmm. and we fell in love with morissette and every time she sings a song we would always you know feature her in our other channel and now that we started our new channel we wanted to feature here as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Um, the I, I'm liking what we got going with the band so far. This is still just the intro, so very little going on. And I can't wait to see who Kiko Salazar is because mm -hmm. Morissette doesn't sing with just anybody. Exactly. She sings with champions. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to see there we go. who Kiko is. gosh i'm getting yeah i'm already tearing up this, yeah. this song gets me every time i me don't too. i don't even speak to Gallag. i barely i know what it's about and that's enough for <laughs> <laughs> I, I there's no closed captions i don't speak to Gallag, and this song still kills me every time <laughs> oh man um i feel like this is a slightly different version it's like a poppy yeah poppy version. jazzy yeah like a pop jazz i'm version loving of her song. version on this too yeah this is cool here we go yeah <laughs>
Wow. Ooh. She gave us a lot of different bravado there from, you know, her normal range. Um, that jazzy tone, yeah. her whistle notes, and we, it's not over yet. We There's did get more a lot. to it. I'm wondering if maybe I'm misunderstanding. Maybe Kiko Salazar is just One the of band. The, the, Kiko Zalazar and Day One may just be the name of the yeah. band that's backing Perhaps, her up. Perhaps. Yeah. Because we're, we're way more than halfway mm. through. We don't see another singer. And they and haven't even... singing one of them when we when they changed the one of, you know, little vocal there. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. he is one of the musicians. Mm -hmm. the, or he or... I didn't see any she's. So perhaps he. it would be yeah. he, I yeah. guess. Yeah, I was, for some reason, I was expecting her to be doing a duet with someone. Mm -hmm. But it seems that it's just her performing with the band. Yeah. So, um, I'm loving yeah, this I mean, version. It, it's, it is a, it's a very different feel mm -hmm. from, her original. from the original. But, man, it still has that. It just wrenches your heart out. Yes. Especially when she... When she, she tears it. those whistle notes off, yeah. and uh, um, you she know, always give you the heartfelt. Yeah, it strikes your heart how all can, the time. How can she be so sad every time she <laughs> sings this song? <laughs> you know, it just it just feels like she's she's losing her heart every time she sings this. Yeah, Ugh. here we go. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> That's totally what I was thinking. It turned into like a gospel worship, worship song. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it surprised her. Yeah. Wow. That I was. I love it. I, as she was going through that, like almost riffing mm -hmm. in like improv. Exactly. Riffs of that song. I was like. Did we go to church? Like, <laughs> are, is this a gospel version of this song? Yeah. Wow, that it could not have been more different than I expected, but I still loved love it. it. Me too. I, I love the way she sings. She captures you a lot. Like this one is more of like, as you said earlier, is so intimate. Yeah. And you know, she's given us different version from you know the the wish buzz and the way she sings it normally and i love this yeah this was uh this was raw yeah right this was her on the fly mm -hmm. basically 
turning her own song into a scat mm. jazz gospel yeah. worship. Like <laughs> it was pretty cool. That was it was like alchemy. Yeah. It was like magic. Yeah. Because she turned it into something that even she didn't expect exactly. it to be. Exactly. <laughs> That's why it's good to, you know, have wow. doing it live. You know, they can do some different version. Um, the way she does it is just yeah. amazing. It definitely had a different feel though. Mm -hmm. um, you could still feel the passion. Mm -hmm. You could still feel the energy that she's mm -hmm. putting out, but it was a very different mm -hmm. style of energy. Yeah. It, was, it was like she was taking this sad, sad song and turning into a, a, something else. A jazzy, else. more yeah. like uplifting. Yeah, yeah, very, very interesting. Like turning it on its head. Yeah. Well, um, thank you. Oh, yeah. sorry. No, go ahead. Thank you again for tuning into our channel. Don't forget to give you love and support to Morissette Amon and the, her feature Kiko Salazar and the One Day Band. Thank you for loving our new channel and liking our videos to get the algorithm going. Thank you for all your recommendations and your suggestions please keep them coming with a link will be greatly appreciated thank you for subscribing to our small mighty channel to help us grow to 30k we're almost there thank you in advance and see, see you in the, the next, next video, video.